Welcome to a new episode of the 90s Metal Gamer. For this episode, we have two PlayStation 2 games and one Nintendo 64 game. Let's go ahead and get them unwrapped. I want to see your tiny head. TikTok is a wonderful place. I recently posted a TikTok video about Super Smash Brothers, on TikTok of course, and I was called out saying that my copy of Super Smash Brothers in 64 is fake. And the short of it is, is that it actually is fake. It's a fake copy. I compared it to other Nintendo 64 games that I had and that's how I confirmed it. It did not have a serialized number punched into the label in the back. And the label colors were way off. On top of that, this looks way too clean. I'd like to think of Enter the Matrix as God's favorite mistake. It had a great idea, but a horrible execution. It is the Matrix version of Sonic 06. I bought it because, well, I'm a hoarder and I'm trying to grow my collection. The game looks pretty clean too. I don't think my PlayStation will have any issues running the game. Much to my surprise, there is a manual for this game. Most of the games that I buy through eBay or Mercari do not come with a manual. So 10 points for that. Now this is a lovely piece of worthless treasure. Yes, that is the rock on there. This is the third installment of the rebooted Spy Hunter series. If I'm going to be honest with you, I'm probably never going to play this game. Spy Hunter looks good and I don't think my PlayStation will have any issues running the game. Now that we have opened up all the games, let's test them out and see if they work. We'll be using our hefty boy PS3 to test out the PS2 games. Up first, we are going to test out Spy Hunter Nowhere to Run. The only reason why I bought this game was because I wanted to complete the series of the rebooted Spy Hunter. And so I did. I have Spy Hunter on my GameCube, Spy Hunter 2 on my Xbox, and Spy Hunter Nowhere to Run on my PS2. Spy Hunter seems to be running fine with no issues at all. Next, we're going to test out Enter the Matrix. This game is actually quite special. It was written and directed by the Wachowski brothers. It's sad to see that it didn't really go the way they wanted it to. As you can see, it uses live action cutscenes instead of pre-rendered cutscenes. And that's the reason why I call it God's favorite mistake.
Enter the matrix works great with no issues. Last and definitely not least, we're going to test out our fake copy of Super Smash Brothers. Considering this is a fake copy of Super Smash Bros., it seems to be running fine with no issues. I don't care if it's fake or not, I'm going to continue enjoying this game. Thanks a lot for watching my video all the way to the end guys, I really do appreciate it. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, I'm glad you found me. Please consider subscribing to the channel, being the little support that I get will go a long way. Stay tuned for my next video, I love y'all and stay hydrated.